we're able to go fishing. Maybe it's ice fishing, whatever it is. Uh, and today, yeah. Uh, today it would be ice fishing yeah. first. Um, uh, and w walk me through, you just caught, you know, something that you t photo worthy. What's your process? And are you going to use Snapseed or are you using Adobe? What's uh, your process right now for getting that image and then getting it up on, so or enhancing the image and getting it up on social media? So the way I would do today, um, and I've done this a few times, is I, I want to tell a visual story. Okay. I'm useless at words, so I want to make a visual story. So first off, I would take some shots of where I'm fishing. Okay. And maybe it's close-ups of the rocks or the water or, or something. So I ain't really picturesque that I'm, I'm focusing on. When I catch that fish, it's really hard to hold a camera, hold a fish, and try to take a shot yeah. yourself with the fish. If you have someone with you, have them do it. If you don't, then it, take yourself out of the equation and just focus on the fish. At the end of the day, the people on my Instagram are not there to see my ugly mouth. Yeah. They want to see what I've caught. So what I try to do is... Um, I'm not always handling the fish. I will put it in the net. I will set up a little, just a very quick little setup. I'll have my fishing rod to one side. I'll have the fish in the net. And I'll take a couple of shots at different angles just to get different perspectives of what the fish looks like. Then I will, show, nine times out of ten, I will show a release shot, which is the only time where I really hold a fish to support it. Okay. So I'll have my hand in the water. The fish will be sitting on top, and I'll take a shot as it goes away. Okay. And it just creates this visual story that I put together. I will then go in after I've been fishing, because I, I never do it on the bank. It takes too long. Yeah. Um, afterwards, I will look at the shots I took, and I'll take three or four of each of these. Okay. So you have four of the location four of the fish in some form of like captured state yeah. and then four in a release state four exactly. or five whatever, you know somewhere yeah there. somewhere okay. around there some sort of logic to that yeah I would then look at the, those images when I get home I will pick what I feel are the best ones and really that's it that's just gut instinct what, what looks best yeah um, and then I'll look at it and assess do I need to adjust it because okay. sometimes you don't sometimes you just get the best and, yeah. and it's it's you know, sometimes the light's just right, it feels right, and looks good, so you don't need to always adjust things. Mm -hmm. And even, so looking at it, I'll figure out if I'm gonna adjust it. Nine times out of 10, if I'm gonna adjust anything, it's gonna be the sharpness and the contrast. Okay. Nine times out of 10. I'll, I'll make some quick adjustments so it becomes richer, full of, full of color. Pick the th four best ones, and then just do it as a sequence of shots, post okay. it up on Instagram. Like a four sequence, one post? Yeah. I will, nine times out of ten, also put my logo on it somewhere. Okay, so walk me through. Are you using Snapseed or Lightroom to... Snapseed, Lightroom. Um, what do, what most of the time I use right Snapseed. Now? Really? Most, yeah, it's just faster. easier and faster. Okay. Um, and it's, it really is very simple, folks. You load the image in, you adjust it with your thumb in terms of brightness, and you can see it. You take it to extreme, and you see how bad it is, and then you take it to the other extreme and see how bad it is there, and then you find somewhere in the middle. Nice medium, right. okay. Um, so it's really quick, it's really easy. There's a bunch of good, good presets on it too. So you, unlike the Instagram ones, which are okay, there's a bunch of presets that you can do that, and there's over 50 of them in Snapseed, I think. And those presets are set up to do exactly what we're talking about, adjust the tone, the contrast, the sharpness of the image, mm -hmm. add some warmth or depth or whatever. So you can actually just flick through the presets if you want to. If you want to get into more of the kind of stylizing stuff, then you play around with the additional filters. So a lot, there's a lot of trial and trial and error to start with. Now the interesting thing is when you find something that works, you can save it as a preset. So when I next go fishing and do kind of a similar sequence, I can try my filter that I created first uh, time and okay. see if that works. Yeah. That helps in so many ways. It helps a consistent look and feel to your photography that you're going to use for your Instagram posts mm -hmm. or your Facebook or whatever. Um, and that consistency of shot is really important. If your shots all kind of look and have that same feel to them, not necessarily the same topic or the same subject, but the same feel, they, they look cohesive.